recipe I've got some leftover mashed potato I do have a recipe for mashed potato so I'll link to that um, in the description below but yeah this is a fantastic recipe just if you've got some leftover mashed potato that you want to do something interesting with and um, I've got about one cup of mashed potato that's been sitting in the fridge for a day or so so it's quite firm and not much moisture in there at all. If you do have a little bit of a moist mashed, mashed potato you could always add just a little bit of flour into this. Any sort of flour will firm it up. So to this mixture I'm adding one tablespoon of mixed Italian herbs, one teaspoon each of onion powder and garlic powder, salt and pepper to taste. Today I'm using quarter of a teaspoon of white pepper and quarter of a teaspoon of Celtic sea salt. And if you have some other seasonings or spices that you'd like to incorporate into this, by all means, put it in there. I've even done things like chop up um, baby spinach into little pieces and put that through and it tastes really great. So the next step is mixing this really well. Just to incorporate all those flavors. So what I've also done is created an egg wash, so an egg wash substitute. Um, so for this mixture I've put one tablespoon of chickpea flour or besom flour and about just under quarter of a cup of water and just mix that together and let it sit for a while. Make sure there's no lumps in there, just push them all out and mix it through thoroughly. And for the breading mixture I'm using half a cup of crushed up wheat cereal, but if you don't have wheat cereal on hand, just use half a cup of breadcrumbs. To this, I'm adding two tablespoons of flour. I'm using brown rice flour, but you can use any flour that you have on hand. I'm also adding one teaspoon of smoked paprika and one tablespoon of black sesame seeds. This is totally optional, I just like the crunch and the bit of colour that this adds to the final dish. Before you start to roll your potato bites in all the coating, get yourself a baking tray and line it with some non-stick parchment paper and also preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so we're going to start rolling these into just little balls a little bit bigger than walnut sort of size and then dip it in the chickpea wash and into your coating and then set that on your lined baking tray and just do that with the rest of the mixture till it's all done. As I'm rolling these, I'm just thinking these would actually be great with a little cube of the almond cheese that I posted a recipe for um, last week. If you look that up, you'll find it on the channel. And that would be really yummy because it would be nice and gooey inside. So I've ended up with 11 of these little balls. So depending on how big you shape them, you'll get about a good 10 to 12 of these out of this mixture. So now I'm going to put these in the oven for about 10 minutes and then check on them, roll them over, put them in again. Okay, so while I'm waiting for those potato bites to cook, I've actually decided to make a quick cashew and garlic aioli. So I've just got half a cup of cashews. They haven't been soaked or anything because I've just decided to do this on the fly and about oh, half a teaspoon of Celtic sea salt, a clove of garlic, the juice of one small lemon, quite a bit there though, it was quite a juicy lemon, and I've got half a cup of hot water going in as well. That'll just help to really puree the cashews and make them really, really soft and smooth because they haven't been soaked or anything. 
And this is a mega powerful blender, so that will definitely help with that process. And I'm just going to blend that for a minute or two until it's smooth. It is hot now, so I'll put that in the fridge for a minute or two to let, let it cool down. But that is just quick and easy. And if you do want to serve it straight away, just do it with some cold water and just blend it through. If you have time, um, soak those cashew nuts just to help the blender along. I'll just give this a bit of a taste. Mmm. Yum, that's so good. Mmm. Looking forward to having that with the bites so I'll wait for them to cook. So these have been in the oven for 10 minutes now. I'm just going to turn them over. It's going to go nice and crispy underneath. I'll put them in for another 10 minutes. All right, happy times. These have been in the oven for about 20 minutes now. Nice and crispy on the outside. I've got my cashew garlic aioli ready to put on top of this. Mmm, yum. Mmm, hot. Hot and delicious. Mmm, so tasty. Those nice herb flavours coming through. And that garlic aioli with it is absolutely amazing. Please give this recipe a try and let me know what you think. It's just a super fantastic way to use up leftover mashed potato. Really quick, really easy, very flexible with what you put with it and how you coat it. Cook it for as long as you like. If you want it a little bit crispier, put it back in the oven. But I like these just the way they are. Mmm, they are so good. This is going to be my mid-morning snack today. Hope you like it too. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do for all my future recipes. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. Mmm.